It's early November, and the smart sewers are starting to already make their Christmas presents. Here's one idea. First, cut all the pieces of your pattern out. This one has two pieces of fabric and a layer of batting. This is leftover batting from a previous project. This is only one layer. The pattern calls for fusible fleece, which I did not have. My solution to it was to quilt this. It took a long time. This was my cheat. Once it's complete, it would look like this. As you can tell, the fabric on either side is the complete reverse. I did this to save fabric, but it turned just very serendipitous. If I turn this right side up, which is how it is going to be in the pattern, the fabric actually lines up with the nap. Cover the end with some bias tape. Once that's done, instead of marking up the fabric with chalk marks, I use different colored pins to mark where the stitch lines are. And sew in between them. There's one set of pockets. Take the other piece, fold it in half, wrong sides together, and press. This step is not necessary, but I put some bias tape on the top of it. Like a previous project, I did box pleats. There's different ways of pleats that you can make with this. Using different colored pins, I was marking the different markings from the pattern. Green were for the stitch lines. Red were for the pleat lines. This particular step is not necessary. But when I was doing box pleats, I did the tops as well. Next, you fold where the pins are and stitch very closely to the edge. Repeat with all of the box pleats. Again, using your pattern piece, mark the stitch lines. Doing it this way will make the pockets slightly smaller than without. Next, line up the stitch pins and secure them in place. Pin the sides in place. Using the pattern piece, make sure that your stitch lines are lined up.
and stitch your lines. Once that's done, baste around the piece to secure it down. Use your remaining bias tape and secure the raw edges. All the way around. Using your pattern piece, place your pieces of Velcro. Secure those down. Now it's complete. Find a mug with the smaller bit on the inside and secure the outside with the Velcro. There's different ways you can use this. Office supplies. Leftover Halloween candy. Or make a neat Christmas gift. Get that hot chocolate in there. Very simple, easy craft to do. An easy gift.